It's about 3.30 in the morning and I fell asleep early. I'm in Mexico City. I woke up starving. I'm in a pretty good part of town um, and there are some street vendors that I think are going 24 hours. I was halfway thinking about walking over there. It's two blocks, maybe three. Um, I looked out the balcony and there's a police officer sitting in front of the hotel. So I, I, I thought twice and I didn't go. Many people will talk about the police in Mexico City, that they're all corrupt and, and they're going to shake you down. I, I really don't believe that. Now, I don't live here. I've interacted with a couple dozen police officers and they just seem like regular people, just men and women just doing their job. Is there a small percentage that are just corrupt and want to shake down tourists? Yeah, I don't know what that percentage is, if it's 1% or 2%. Um, I didn't want to explain myself if, if I had to at three in the morning. I figured that cop sitting out in front of my hotel, it's a good hotel in a good part of town, but he's sitting there for a, a, him or her, I don't know who it is. <clears throat> They're sitting there for a reason. Maybe something's going on I don't know about. So I didn't, I didn't take the chance. So it got me thinking about traveling solo in Mexico City or really anywhere, and I travel solo a lot, that I do do a few things. Now, these are just my opinions, but I do a few things that um, I, I just always have for my own protection. And I was mentioning my throwaway wallet to uh, uh, a couple of friends and, the, and they were all, oh, I, ne I, I never really thought about that. That's a good idea. Again, it's not the newest idea in the world, but I just have an old driver, old expired driver's license and I keep <clears throat> less than 50 bucks, maybe like 30 US dollars if it's in pesos or whatever it is, just when I'm walking through, like I was in the Guerrero section of Mexico City, it's a little rougher, and I was just taking, uh, in the noon, one o'clock, I was just taking um, pictures of the sides of the buildings, but there were a couple of guys, and they were doing some kind of drug deal, and the one guy was kind of like, hey, what's up, you know, I'm like, eh, beautiful, beautiful pictures, you know, I took a picture, and I just walked off, but they very easily could have, uh, uh, chase me, chase me down and like, hey, hey, well, you got to pay to take a picture of the side of our building or whatever it is. You, you know what I mean? Uh, you never know. Maybe pulled out a knife or whatever. You're going to pay or not or whatever. Throw away wallet. You know, I, I, I pull it out. I'm like, here, you know, this is 13 US dollars or whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get knifed over, um, 13 bucks. I, I'm not. I don't know what the situation is. This isn't my town. Yes, I want to take pictures of beautiful artwork, but uh, if I'm taking the picture of the side of some drug dealer's building and he gets pissed off, if he says, I want that whole wallet or you're dead or whatever, here you go. Do I want to hand him my wallet with all my credit cards and, and 500 bucks? Not that I'm carrying around 500 bucks. No. But if I am heading out and I got a couple hundred bucks tucked away, yeah, I'll have 20 bucks tucked away in my throwaway wallet. And, and I've never had to use it, but I would think somebody who's maybe going to rob a person like that's not all in their, in their right mind and they're just going to grab that out of my hands and run. So that's what I do. Um, I also, there was a, another police car and the doorman here at the hotel, they were talking and, and like buddies, and I kind of know the doorman. He's a good guy. So I went over there, and we're all chatting and all. And, and in my broken Spanish and this police officer's broken English, um, he figured that uh, he understood that I was asking for his business card. And I, I took his business card and, and put it in my throwaway wallet um, just in case I ran across that 1% of cops i think again people are probably yelling at youtube saying it, it, it's 52 percent that they're corrupt I, I, again i don't believe that but there are there are a certain amount of uh, cops here in mexico city or in many places around the world that are a little corrupt and if, and if this guy was shaking me down over nothing i'd pull up this other police officer's business card and say oh hey would you do you know my friend here you never know. That might be enough to end the harassment. So if you can get another police officer's card like that, that's a great idea. So I keep a card here in Mexico City. It's in Spanish. 
my Spanish is terrible. And when you're in an argument with somebody or somebody's yelling at you, you don't want to be breaking out Google Translate. No. So I just keep a business card that says, hey, I'm just a tourist, you know, taking pictures. I meant no disrespect. And I've ne again, I've never had to use that. But I was in a neighborhood today where they were homes and um, I would beautiful, just beautiful architecture and, and street art. And I was taking pictures. You never know. Somebody could have came charging out of their house thinking I was, I don't know, taking a picture of their daughter <laughs> or, or I, whatever. You know, if I saw people, I, I, I wouldn't be uh, taking pictures, but you never know of the, of the situation. So I just keep this card just to hand to a person. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, and maybe it would defuse the situation. The other thing I personally do is I love watching YouTube travel channels and all, but I see these guys with their uh, GoPro on a selfie stick and they're just walking through the market or whatever and just taking pictures of everything and in the background you see people flipping them off and all. Yeah, people don't necessarily um, enjoy your YouTube channel as, as much as maybe you know, we're enjoying making the video uh, and they don't, they don't want you filming them. So I ask people, if I'm in a, a Mercado like I was today and, and all the beautiful fish, I ask the guy, hey, um, you know, it's my little camera. Do you mind if I, I take a picture of your fish? No, he's holding up his fish and yeah, they, yeah look at my fish. But if, if I just came whipping around the corner, sticking a camera in his face, I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate it. Likewise with a, uh, like street vendor, the taco guy or whatever. Yeah, I just don't go up there sticking a camera in, in his face and all his customers. If 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 I'm hungry, hey, um, make me some tacos. You know, here here's the two bucks. And hey, do you mind if I take a picture? No, you're you're my customer. Take a picture. If I'm not his customer, I'll give him the two the one dollar in the tip jar anyhow. Hey, do you mind if I uh, take a picture? Not your customers. Yeah, of course he'll be posing half the time. If this guy says no, we'll go to a, another taco stand. Just, I treat people with respect when I travel, especially um, solo. And I, I've just never got in trouble. I, I just haven't. I always keep a hotel card and an emergency contact on the back. Again, you never know if I get hit by a car or something. Um, I don't think the crowd's going to rush me and, and, and strip my shoes off of me and all. I, I, I think most people all around the world are decent. And of course, they're going to go through your wallet and figure out what's going on. And if there's a hotel card there, okay, then will this guy stay at the Holiday Inn? And, but on the back of that card is also going to have a, a buddy. Hey, here's my buddy in San Diego. You know, call him. And whatever. Worst case scenario. But you have to think when you're traveling solo. I do haul my cell phone around, um, Google Maps, sometimes Google Translate, and Uber. Um, but I don't carry the latest iPhone and, uh, you know, the $1,100 phones. I don't. My, I get the $200 phone every couple of years, and that's fine. If you are an $1,100 iPhone person, Maybe consider um, bringing your three-year-old phone uh, in the in the rare, rare chance. If some guy is going to stick a knife in your face, they know. Uh, give me your wallet. Give me your phone. And that'd be a real hit <laughs> to give him your throwaway wallet with uh, $15 in it. Who cares? But handing him your $1,100 cell phone, that suck. I don't know if you want to. Again, I'm not a tech guy. I don't know if you'd want to take it so far as uh, take your $1,100 phone and take your four-year-old iPhone 2 and take that with you uh, as you're out exploring around. I, I, that's a personal decision. But again, um, these are just a few of my safety tips. Again, you might disagree or have other comments, please leave the comments below uh, any ideas that might help us solo travelers. But don't be terrified of the police here in Mexico City or Bolivia or any of these other places where people are, uh, all, the, all, all the cops, 100% of the cops are corrupt. They say that about Tijuana. I've traveled, I, I've driven from Tijuana to Cabo 
um, a couple of times. And yes, I've passed through uh, Mexican checkpoints and on and on and on. And I've, I've never had any problems. Guys at work, these guys that say all the cops in Tijuana are, are criminals, when, when I, and some are, but when, when I get to the bottom of, why are you saying this? Oh, well, we were partying and, and I was in this alley and then the cops roughed me up. Okay, okay, which, and what were you doing in the alley? Well, I was taking a leak. Okay, so you were taking a leak in public and, and the cops rolled you for what was in your wallet. I mean, that's normally... There, there's normally more to the story about all the cops are terrible. Are there like sections of speed traps and all? Absolutely. Um, you know, are they looking for that? What is it called? Mordita? The, just the street fine? Yes. There, there's many sections. The road between like uh, La Paz and Cabo. Yeah. You'll get pulled over there 50% of the time. And that guy's looking for his $20 to end the problem. Or where to, maybe it's more now. I, I I don't know, but even then, I was one time uh, years ago driving from Ensenada uh, back to San Diego, and we were speeding. We were guilty, and we got pulled over. And the cop, uh, he wanted too much money. He wanted uh, uh, it was over a hundred bucks. Again, people are probably yelling at me. Yeah, that's what the fine is. So this was years ago. It was ninety two, ninety three. And we said, that's respectfully, that's too much money. And we'll follow you to uh, the police station. And that's what you do, or you used to do. And we followed him and the fine was 22, 22 US dollars. So even in Mexico City, uh, yes, uh, today I was taking pictures and I did get a little broop because I was standing in the middle of the road. It was a small residential road, but Guilty as charged, standing in the middle of the road, taking a picture, and two blocks away, I get the little siren, you know, he could have zipped up on me like, hey, you know, you were jaywalking, that's, or whatever, that's a uh, 2,000 peso fine, or whatever it was. If, if it were small enough, or it were reasonable, and let's just end this here, yes, I was standing in the, the middle of the road, fine. If they're demanding your entire wallet and on and on and on or you're going to prison yeah just let's go let let's let's go talk to the sergeant and, and we'll explain why i need to pay a 200 hundred dollar u.s fine for for standing in the middle of the road for 10 seconds and take a picture that's not going to happen he's not going to take you to the police station over that and, and try to explain to his superiors why uh he was trying to take everything out of your wallet. Not that he had admitted it, but don't be terrified of, of the police. The Even the very small percentage that are going to try to uh, shake you down. Again, these are just my personal beliefs. If you have uh, comments otherwise, please feel free to uh, put them down below. But more importantly, put some comments down below of different things you do when you're traveling solo um, to feel safe. And in the worst case scenario, like my throwaway wallet, hey, let's, let's not make this a horrendous situation. Here you go. You can have my expired driver's license and, and 22 US dollars. We're both happy here. That, that's my take on things. All right, take it easy.